lot of rappers are defending Eminem right now. Check out these clips. He got a rhyme style, but he's white. He's white. People have been asking me what I thought about the Melly Mel clip when he talks about Eminem, you know what I'm saying? That was the funniest clip I had seen all day. I couldn't stop laughing for like five minutes straight. Now let's take color all the way out of the equation. If somebody decided to create a round table, this round table, only the most brilliant lyricists in the history of hip hop could sit at this table. Only the most brilliant. I'll be sitting at that table like, what's happening, Marshall? <laughs> yeah, I said what I said. I'll be sitting there too saying, what up, Marshall? Eminem will be sitting at that table. So, as one of the most brilliant hip hop writers in the history of the culture, what do you think Eminem deserves? Every fucking thing he has. Melly Mel. Yes. Like whenever they ask me about uh, true legends, guys that I watched growing up since I was a baby when I came out of my house, it's Melly Mel, it's the Furious Five. Yes. Those will be the leaders, right? Mm -hmm. Um, so he recently said if Eminem wasn't white, he wouldn't be considered a top five rapper. Um, what's your thoughts on that? Man, I'm glad you said that because I was going to tweet the other day that I feel like a lot of these veteran and legacy rappers are embarrassing themselves. Like, we love Melly Mel. I'll say because maybe you can't, Joe, but we love Melly Mel. We love Grandmaster Flash Furious Five. We love the message. We love white lines. However, I feel like a lot of rap, a lot of veterans, specifically Melly Mel, are coming off bitter and like kind of like, you know, curmudgeons, like guys, you know, waving their fist in the sky, yelling at a cloud. How dare you? Eminem is amazing because he's Eminem. There's been a lot of white rappers that have existed prior to Eminem that have never achieved the success that he has. Eminem made it cool for a white boy to rap. Mm -hmm. Prior to him, Vanilla Ice left a black eye, you know, for white rappers. Well, Everlast was dope. Everlast was dope. I, fuck you had, with Everlast. You had search. You have um. Yeah, MC Search for third base. We had Milkbone. We had other white. Hell, they had a group called Young Black Teenagers. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna pass the twist. That's not here, yeah. nor there. But that's Eminem, a is Eminem to... because he's nice. Like yeah. Good. And so what happens with me is I worship Melly Mel. My whole life, him, Mr. Ness. But it, I tried my best to not even talk about this and look this way because I never in my life disagree with Melly Mel, but this time I'm gonna have to disagree with him. You, you have to, come on, man. Like you gotta, you, you can't, listen, if you don't like Eminem's recent music, fine. You're, you're more than entitled to say how you feel, but you can't front an Eminem. He's nice, like, He's Beyond made, he's that, the game. And and I happen to know, it's almost like with some like me right now. I'm I'm, I'm guilty of it. Mm -hmm. Melly Mel says something that I disagree with, but I'm still hesitant because of the respect or the culture I have that I salute him so much that I, I to disagree with him publicly. It, 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 so, so we have this shit where in the black, brown community, hip hop, we don't cross, we, we be like, even if we disagree, we just shut up. Yeah. We try to this. Um, and I and get so, you're in a position. Wait, hold on, hold up, hold up, With that being said, if Eminem wasn't beyond phenomenal, yeah, they would have never, we, hip hop would have never gave it up the way we gave it up to him. That's a fact. He was something you couldn't stop. And at that time as well. Fact. So 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 the reason why I me, I look at, and I'm gonna let you talk, Vida. I know I'm talking a lot, but That's the awesome. reason why I understand when I was growing up that Melly Mel was the best rap on earth. Mm -hmm. I understand coming from the Bronx. I watched him at the block party with his hands in the air and everybody grabbing his feet. I seen Beach Street, mm -hmm. White Line, I know everything. He right. was the greatest rapper, the first big hit to change the game of rap message, right? So he has right. his time. So when people try to tell me in debates, yo, but Melly Mel, what he had? I'm like, yo, bro, he was the man. He was the he man. Was. He 
It was. But when Eminem first came out, I always tell a story that me and Pun was waiting online in 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 uh, Sunset Boulevard over there in in, in L.A. Mm -hmm. to get a CD. I mean, Eminem was that phenomenal. Yeah. And so, uh, and so I'm just saying I disagree. I'm I'm glad to get your opinion on that. No, nah, it's all good. It's okay to disagree, but at the same time, you can't mitigate what Eminem has done. Like the Marshall, like the man literally changed vernacular. We call overzealous fans stands because of Eminem. He signed Fifty Cent, like one of the biggest rookies of the game. Like, come on, you can't front on Eminem. Like that's just if you front Eminem, you're just a hater or you're a player hater. That's just what yeah, it he's is. just a hater. It All is. right, but I could understand if he says it ain't, he ain't in his top five. I get yeah, it. Yeah, you could say. You I know, don't like everybody it. got their own. It's all subjected to opinion. Yes. You could say Eminem's not for me. You could say that, and that's okay. Yeah. But to front on Eminem and he wouldn't be this, that, come on, man. Like, stop it. Stop I it. I agree. Now, yo, Pat. What up, my take brother? Take lyrics serious. Yes. You take bars serious. Um, yes. You younger than me. So I don't know if you know how legendary Melly Mel is in the field. Hell yeah. Woo. You kidding me? Very legendary. He was the greatest. When he was I got a lot of respect for Melly one. Mel because, because a lot of the greats, I, do, I did my research, and I kind of got an idea of who influenced them and where they got their style from. I haven't been able to figure out where Melly Mel got his style from or who influenced him. I think he's the originator. He's the originator. And all of us are influenced by somebody, though. You know what I'm saying? The originator. Yo, listen, I'm old. So prior to the message, it's like a jungle sometime. They were all, it was all party music. It was, have a great time. This, they're the first ones to talk about. We're not debating his, he's beyond the legend. Beyond. Right? So I'm just trying to let you know that when I was young, he was number one. Right. Okay. People try to forget, and they, you know, hip hop is all about, uh, w are you hot right now? Right, they, right. They forget you in a year. You can have the fucking biggest record in the world <laughs> a year ago, and they forget it next year. You know, they on to the next. But mm -hmm. I do remember he was number one. Now, he recently said Eminem wouldn't be a top rapper if he wasn't white. Mm -hmm. What are your thoughts on this issue right here? I disagree. I disagree. I disagree with that because even though even though Eminem is Caucasian, you know what I'm saying, we can't act like we don't, you know, obvious to a duck. Um, you cannot front on his skill set, man. No way. You, you can't deny that skill set, man. Nah. You could put that skill set on any nationality. I don't care what 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 race. And we don't and, and Pat, we don't want to make this so much a race thing, even though it is a race thing. But mm -hmm. I was at the slam dunk contest, and I knew I had never seen a white boy dunk like that before. The, 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 <laughs> and so, and, and, and while he was doing it, I realized my whole life has mm -hmm. been based on basketball. Right. I've never in human eyes from every park I've been to, from Brooklyn to Queens to everything, right. i never seen a white boy dunk like that, so I knew it was history. Right. And Even Jason history. Williams, well, uh, I don't know if I said his name wrong. I remember a white chocolate. You remember white a chocolate? A white chocolate, yeah. But remember I'm that saying. Handle on that boy? <laughs> what was he doing with a handle like that? And so, and so <laughs> as much as I love and worship Melly Mel, I think he's wrong with this one. Oh, oh yeah, Joe. Listen, I love Melly Mel. Like I said, his style, he's the originator of his style. He's amazing lyrically. I still listen to the message and all of his. And, and I know Melly Mel. Like, I look up to him, man. He's a he's a, a legend. I could go on and on about the respect that I have. He's my, he's probably my, my, my icon. My, he's one of my top. Yeah, legends, man. My he, icons. Lyrically, lyrically, dudes are still not touching him. But honestly, that skill set that Emin that that boy Slim Shady got, it that you can't you can't nah man. So Melly Mel said that Eminem shouldn't be in the top five rappers of all time because he's the, and the only reason he is there be because he's white. Yeah. He in my top five. He is. Yeah. 
Did, what, 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 where would you rank him? One, two, three, four, five? I don't know, but he in there though. Why? Because he the truth. Yeah? Who can make a song like Stan? Who has made a song like Stan? Yeah. The artistry of it. The you, artistry of it. Yeah. He says that, that he has white privilege and, and that he... And, I don't, listen, I don't get into all that. Yeah. There's only two type of people. It's real people yeah. and fake people. Mm -hmm. Real people do real things, fake people do fake things. Yeah.